Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So in this video I'm going to show you all how to get the current price of Bitcoin using Python. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I like to do is basically put a description in comments that tells us what this program is about or what it does. So let's do that now. So description. Here we want to get the current price of Bitcoin. All right. So now I'm going to create a new cell by clicking this code button. And in this cell, we're going to import the request library. So just type import request and then run the cell by clicking this button here to the left. All right. So it looks like uh, everything ran fine and smoothly so let's create a new cell here and in this cell I'm going to get the URL ticker to get the .json file of the cryptocurrency so I'm going to create a variable called ticker underscore API underscore URL and I'm going to set this equal to uh, coin market cap dot coms API so that's HTTPS colon slash slash API dot coin market cap dot com slash v1 slash ticker and then slash so let's run this cell okay so everything looks good there I'm going to create a new cell and in this cell we are going to create a function to get the latest crypto currency price for a specific crypto okay so what do I mean by that so we can get the price of Bitcoin or the price of Litecoin or the price of Ethereum Ethereum I think that's how you spell it Okay, just by passing in um, these words into our function. So let's create that function now. I'm going to call it get underscore latest underscore crypto underscore price. And it's going to take in crypto. All right. So let's uh, get into the function here. And I'm going to create a variable called response. And set it equal to request dot get and so we're going to get the JSON from that URL that we created or the URL that we stored into the variable earlier and it was called ticker underscore API underscore URL and then we're going to add the crypto that we want to get the price of and now I'm going to create a new variable called response underscore JSON and I'm going to set it equal to response dot JSON method okay so that should give us back the JSON and then I want to return the price right so that's going to be the response underscore JSON at position zero and then it will be the price underscore USD feature and I want this to be a float so I'm just going to cast it as a float all right and now I will run this and let's create a new cell where we can test the function so let's type get latest crypto price or really get underscore latest underscore crypto underscore price and we're going to input Bitcoin here so let's run this excellent so now we see that we get back the current price of Bitcoin let's try Litecoin and run that all right so it's the current price of Litecoin and then I'm wondering if I spelled Ethereum correctly so let's try Ethereum and let's run this 
Okay, excellent. And we get back the price of Ethereum. All right, so I'm going to put back Bitcoin for now. And let's run this. Okay, so next let's, let's um, create another function. Let's create a new cell. And I will call this function main. So this will be our main function. And in this function, I'm going to create a variable called crypto that we can easily change. So right now, cryptocurrency is Bitcoin that we're worried about or that we're interested in, more specifically. And then I'm going to create a variable called price and set it equal to get underscore latest underscore crypto underscore price. And then we're going to input crypto. All right. And then I just want to print the price and here I actually put Bitcoin price all right so let's just run this good and create a new cell and then actually run our main function okay and now we can see that the Bitcoin price is ten thousand ninety three point zero six six two one five five so um, that's good and all but i don't want to have to keep clicking that main function just to see an update of the price and i believe this api here i believe that it updates in a few minutes or a couple of minutes i don't know the exact time uh, by heart right now i have to look at their documentation but let's put this in a let's put this in a while loop. So we we'll just have it running forever. So while true, crypto equals Bitcoin. Price is going to equal get the latest underscore crypto underscore price, and then we're going to print the Bitcoin price. So let's run this here. Let's run main. Okay, and now we see that it's printing the price multiple times. And like I said before, this may not change, the price may not change for a couple of minutes because of the API that we're using. So let's go ahead and stop this for now. I want it to only print the price of Bitcoin when the price changes. So I'm going to create a variable called last underscore price and set it equal to negative one. And here, if the price does not equal the last underscore price then I want to print the current price of Bitcoin and then we will update last underscore price to be equal to the current price so let's run this and now let's run our main function again and so we see that it just gets printed one time so let's give it some I guess a few minutes and see if it prints another price okay excellent that was pretty quick so we can see here that the price changed from 10,093 usd about to 10,101 usd or about 10,101 usd all right so that looks pretty good so that's basically it um i hope you all enjoyed this video please leave any questions you have in the comment section don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. And if you found this video helpful, please share it. And I'll be sure to put this code up on my GitHub so you guys can check that out. And I put a link to that in the description. So as always, thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next video.